views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guided healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit, the angels, and your higher self. Dr. Jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that will strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jen Royster. Welcome to the show. I'm Dr. Jen. I've been really looking forward to this interview today, and I know most of the listeners of this show, and if you're all about the angels, this is your hour, and it is a power hour with the angels, let me tell you. Now, we have a very special guest with us, and that's coming in all the way from Germany, and so we will bring her on in just a moment, but quickly an update from a couple of days ago, just to let everybody know that's wondering what's going on with that. A um, couple of days ago, I was a guest over on Dr. Pat's show here on TTR, and we were doing the live painted intuitive reads. And all of that is up live now on the website for those that have been writing. I've been getting all these emails with it was really beautiful it touched my heart uh but the the website uh, my website jenroyster.com you go right in there you'll see the paintings that we did for the callers and the winner who was the winner and then also i did uh uh, film a video while we were doing it. So if you watch the video, you can see the step by step and it will explain the paintings that you're seeing. So for those that have been writing in and asking about that and anxiously waiting to see that, we had a very successful filming with that and it's up on the website, jenroyster.com. So you can go check that out later. Now, let me tell you what we're doing during this hour, which is really beautiful. We have a very special guest today, Isabel Vaughn. I think I said that correctly. I'm going to have her say it again, but she's coming from Germany. She's just such a beautiful soul. I feel like I'm speaking with family that I've known for a very long time. I, I just have to say that because it feels like that. Um, we have a lot in common with the angels, but she has had contact with the angels as well since childhood. And after a near death experience at the age of eight, her visionary dreams and visions started to increase. So she had a lot of activity coming in after this near-death experience. And in her adult life, check this out, she started out as a concert pianist. Whoa, hello, unbelievable. And I know what that's like taking piano. I studied the classicals, but I'm not a concert pianist. But I know how hard that work can be and the perfectionism that can go into that. Now, she also had... She always had an interest in spirituality, um, and it's always been a part of her life. But then in 2000, the year 2000, she had a life-threatening leukemia, and that's how she engaged more deeply with the angels. And whoa, she is here to tell us about her story, about how she started to see, hear these angels, and started to receive assignments from the archangels about how to regain her health. Wow. It just gave me those goosies all over that, oh my goodness, I could just feel that go right through my soul when I read that. And today she writes, she travels around the world. She gives presentations, workshops. She's written several books and she's a popular bestseller over in Germany and Italy. Uh, she's recorded more than 50 meditations 
Develop the Angel Life Coach tra- Training, the Isis Angel Healing, and Magdalene Healing. She had her own radio show. Let's see, what else has she not done? My goodness, this lady's busy. And she has been featured in many magazines, uh, appeared on DVDs and movies, and on German television. And her passion is to help others open their hearts and help lead them to a fulfilled life. She's on Twitter. She's on Facebook. She, I've connected to her all over the place. So if you're looking for her and you can't find her, you can find her that way through mine. Uh, but let's bring her on because she's going to share her own healing story and a new 28-day program she has to help you. It's a new book she has, The Power of Your Angels, 28 Days to Finding Your Path and Realizing Your Life Streams. I want to welcome you, Isabel, dear family member, to the show. <laughs> Hello, dear Chen. Thank you so much for the beautiful introduction. I'm really happy to be with you, and it feels like an old connection already with you. It, it does, and I had to say that because it's there, and you just know it when exactly. you know it. Yes, exactly. There are it, no doubts. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know, and and, and so. You know, we are going to uh, also, uh, before we start this, I want to let everybody know and listen up for this. We have a book here. We have an extra one that we are going to give away to someone during the show. But we will let you know when to call in for that. And we will in, and we will have a winner that will ha- take home or we will mail out one of these power of your angels to them. Now. Uh, we will take callers in just a bit, so we will let you know when to start calling in. Uh, but let's let's tell them a little bit about. Wh- I mean, leukemia, near death. My goodness, girl. <laughs> yeah, it, it was uh, really tough because you know, in 2000, it was like that. That I, really in the middle of the night, the doctor came into my hospital room and telling me, like he would tell an audience, "Okay, now you have just three days to three weeks to live, and you can die of this, that, and that." And he was talking mm. like 40 minutes without stopping, and I was lying in that bed and was totally shocked. You can imagine, he- hello, getting this message uh, before mm-hmm. midnight, no one around you. And just in the same week, I had lost my partner. I had lost my house. I had lost my scholarship because no one wanted to be with me anymore in this physical condition. And so I was at a moment in my life where I thought, no, I don't want to live anymore. I don't want to fight anymore. It's done. And Mm. while this doctor was talking, I had a vision and I saw, okay, um, if you start in that night, how he su- suggested to do the chemotherapy, you will die. I just saw the vision and I knew my visions were true because I had had them since I was eight years old. Mm-hmm. And so I left the hospital because I said, okay, if I have three days to live, I want to die at home at my parents' house and not in a place where a doctor is so crazy with me, you know? Right. And, and, uh, but this was the best thing I could do because I needed to get a clear mind again to, to be able to, to do what I had to do to be able to survive. And you know what I realized in that moment at home was if I really want to, to come through all of that, the first thing I have to do is to forgive my ex-partner who left me alone in such a difficult situation because I knew unforgiveness is like poison, like you are swelling poison, but someone else you want the mm-hmm. other person to die. And that mm-hmm. was what I did. You know, this was mm-hmm. the first step I took lying in bed, nearly dying, but forgiving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a huge part of it. And, and, and it's a struggle for people. And we want to talk about that a little bit during the show, because uh, we're going to take a break in just a moment. So before we go into it too deep, hang on yes. to the thought, because yes, yes. Uh, we want we want to understand because this is a huge healing. And when you go through something like that, um, the thing that, I, that quickly before we go to the next um, section or to, to the break, what I what I really want to ask you, and I I know you must have felt this. I mean, yes, you went through the big things to to come to that level of awareness with forgiveness and and self love and all of that. But yeah. we don't really have to go through these big things to to do this. We can find a way. So hang on to that thought because I want to ask you about that. If you've had an experience like you really want to show people this, we're going to take a break. 
You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. I'm Dr. Jen with my special guest today. We are talking about the power of your angels with Isabella von Falua. Stay with us. We'll be right back. What if there's nothing wrong with you? What if you're far greater than you've ever given yourself credit for? What if it's time to know the gift and the contribution you are to the world and to like yourself a lot more? Hi, my name is Dane here. 13 years ago, I started to truly ask questions. Actually, I started to be the question and everything changed for me. Asking questions opens doors to infinite possibilities. And it's not about finding the answer. It's about being the question. Always. What I'm inviting you to step into is something that Einstein, Marie Curie, Newton, Da Vinci, Gandhi, Picasso, and Aristotle all knew to be true. What if no question is too big or too small? What if anything is possible for you? What if together we could create a kinder, gentler, happier world? Is now the time? Go to beingyouclass.com and sign up for a free video series, My Gift to You, beingyouclass.com. What if you, truly being you, are the gift and change this world requires? BeingYouClass.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Tired of traditional talk, people pontificating about this or that, the left or the right. Sometimes the truth is just all lost in the noise. Tune in each week to Straight Talk with Chuck Gallagher on TransformationTalkRadio.com, Mondays at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, as nationally known guests talk about what's important to you, your life, your concerns, and your success. Tune in and turn on to Straight Talk with Chuck Gallagher. Visit ChuckGallagher.com for more information. Hi, I'm Dr. Pat. I want to introduce you to my friends at BioResource, the exclusive Beyond Balance distributor in the United States and Canada. Used clinically by top Lyme doctors, Beyond Balance herbal formulas have helped thousands of patients battle tick-borne disease by providing superior immune system support and enhancing detoxification. Beyond Balance formulas are sold through healthcare professionals. The oral drops contain non-GMO food-grade vegetable glycerin, making them well-tolerated by children and alcohol sensitive patients. Practitioners often complement Beyond Balance formulas with high quality homeopathic such as Pecanus Bigeric remedies to enhance patient results. For more information, licensed or certified healthcare practitioners can call BioResource, the exclusive Beyond Balance distributor for the United States and Canada at 800-203-3775. That's 800-203-3775. And together, let's win the battle against Lyme disease. Ooh, we are back. You're listening to the Jen Royster Show. I'm Dr. Jen with my guest today, Isabel von Falwa, and she is with us from Germany. And we're talking about her book, The Power of, of Your Angels, and a 28 day step. Uh, type of path to find your way to your dreams. And Isabel, before we went to break, we were sharing about your own healing story. And I had asked you, you know, we really don't, you know, these things are there, but sometimes we have to, it's, we call it the school of hard knocks here. I don't know if you know that term. <laughs> yeah. Or not. yeah it's but, something you know, similar. Yes. <laughs> it seems like when we came to earth in this human form, we all chose that in one way or the other. And we were talking about sometimes we have to go deep. So could you share a little bit about that? Because that's really what you're doing in this yeah. book. Yeah. You know, the reason today I, I know why I had to go so deep and again and again have to go very, very deep is that people don't see think if they see me oh she has such an easy life she has no clue where I'm going through and so I had to go through anything I mean I lost the house I lost the partner I lost nearly my life I was fighting for life and death for four years so 
I had no money. So I know nearly every single theme a person can have. And, and mm -hmm. so I'm a trustful person for people. Because if I, I was this person who had just always an easy life and now talking to angels and trying to help other people, they wouldn't believe me the same way they do like this. You know? Right, right. No, I relate very well. <laughs> <laughs> I do because they either they're either ready for it or they're not at times. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, I had to learn not to what I call charge hell with a squirt gun. <laughs> <laughs> you know like you know you just want to go when you realize oh my gosh i there's so much here that can help you and we sometimes we're trying to you know we want to help them so badly when we're new at it that yes. we have to just back off because you have to wait till they're ready and yes. they will yeah you have to wait till they're ready it's a free will choice exactly. now you broke your book down into 28 days yes Yes, because the reason is that in science, they say we need like 21 to 28 days to create new synapses, new neural pathways in our brains. And, and I found out it's really true because if we want to change habits, if we want to change self-sabotaging mechanisms, we really need to do something steadily to create new synapses. And that's the reason why the book is 28 days. Of course, you can take a longer time to do the program, but you should at least take 28 days. That's the reason why it's called like that. Right. And it may even take a day or two longer in some of e the sections. Even, even even much longer, you know, because mm -hmm. especially in the first part, which is the deepest part because it's about purification and i always explain it like that everyone really wants to have the life of his or her dreams and everyone is kind of trying to manifest whatever she or he wishes but very often it doesn't work because people don't know so much about the subconscious mind and how it works and what i found out if we really want to manifest our dreams we have to become like a white a blank canvas without mm -hmm. anything painted on it yet only yep. then we can create new beautiful pictures but what we mostly do is we paint one picture after the other our mm -hmm. pa our past pain is still underneath and so we cannot receive what we wish because our past is still sabotaging everything which wants to come to us Oh boy, I can relate to that. We've used now. My listeners are going to be familiar with the blank canvas because I've used that before. Because it's like you have to accept that blank place of beginning. Exactly, you, know, you have to start. You know, uh, yeah. I relate to that with the art that I do, and it it you have to become. You know, that's out of the comfort zone. You don't have it already planned. It's not autopilot yet. You know. Yes. We, yeah. You yeah, just have yeah, to. So right. Yeah, it's just, yeah. yes, I really relate. I really relate. I love it. And, <laughs> yeah, and, and that's the reason why, why I take so much uh, chapters for the very first part of the book, because uh, really we have to work through our pain. We have to work through our traumas. We have to work through our shadows. And this really first part can take much longer than just 11 days or so, you know. And I had a lady in Germany who met me at one of these big international conventions. And she said, you know what, Isabel, I took half a year for the whole book and I did work on it every single day. But after half a year, my whole life is completely new. Everything changed and it's all a big, big miracle. And I'm the most happy person in my life. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. See, so that, that's what it's all about. I mean, that's, that, that's what we're doing. That's what our goal is. And we have a lot of people out there, they're looking, they're searching and they want to find a way to do this and, you know, taking it step by step, the way you've laid out is a great, is a great plan because, yeah. you know, the purification you were talking about sometimes <laughs> I know when I was going through some of that, it was like, your my body was just telling me, don't eat that anymore. Don't eat that anymore. Don't eat that anymore. And it was becoming a, uh, as I was raising my frequency, it yeah. was shifting what my body wanted or could accept anymore. Exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it will continue to do that as long as you continually are raising your frequency, which is an ongoing process. I mean, well, we're continually course. doing that. But, you know, some of the steps are, you know, whoa. I mean, they really make you go to those places that you are afraid of or uh, you want to avoid. And, and yes. it, it's you have to find a way through them, not avoid them anymore to release them. 
Exactly. Yes, that's and, and what I'm seeing in your book is what I'm expressing. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. because, you know, the, the, the point is as soon as we really take our way into our past, not analyzing, but looking where do we still hold resentments? Where do we still hold unforgiveness? Where do we still feel pain? Where are we not in peace? This helps us to really see where do we have to work on ourselves? And the more we realize it, the easier it becomes. And and if you really go through that, at a certain point you say, oh my God, but it's much easier to do it every single day in your life on a daily basis because then you never will have so much baggage carrying right. with you anymore in your life, you know? Yes, it's a clearing on a daily, yes. It's like, you know, it's like our physical shower or bathing. <laughs> yeah, you know? I, I, you know what, how I call it, not in that book, but in another book, I call it uh, spiritual hygiene. You have to do it every day. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that makes sense. I love that. Now, <laughs> you address, which... Uh, I believe in your personal story, you were feeling this one too. And I do want to ask you about that, about the impact of past lives. Yeah. So can you share a little bit about that? Yeah, this is this is really a, uh, an incredible thing because I, I had so many experiences like that as a child already and as a young woman. So uh, I was completely sure this existed. And I, I just give you an example. I always had on my throat, I had an open wound. No doctor could heal it. No one. It was just there. I always had to wear a scarf my my life because it 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 just wouldn't heal and uh, at the moment i really became familiar with the wonderful archangel raziel who is so connected to the akashic records once he took me back in in a, in a time travel and i landed in a past life and i could see it was in in spain and i was a kind of a monk uh, but i was not really uh, i was not really conformed with the church so i was living outside the cities i was living in the country i was talking to the birds i was helping people to learn to read which was not allowed at that time mm-hmm. and then uh, people from the church came with uh, horses and a kind of a lasso and they they captured me with a lasso and pulled me behind a horse, which was running to death, pulled me to death. Uh. And, and where the nut was on, on, uh, of the lasso, there was the wound on my uh, throat, you, can, you, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And as soon as I could see uh, the whole story, everything made sense. Uh, I also knew a person uh, in my life right now who was that one of the people there in that past life. And so together with Raziel, we, we erased the whole bad memory. And I also worked with Tzadkiel on forgiveness. And within half a day, the wound was gone forever. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. Now, we're going we're gonna to keep going with this. But when, <laughs> you know, we're going to take a break in a couple of minutes here. But when we, while, when we go to break, I want to announce yeah. this for all the people out there listening. Now's the time to start calling into the station uh, first caller is going to win a copy of Isabel's book, The Power of Your Angels. So I want to put those lines open. And if you want to ask Isabel any questions about her program here or her book, uh, we want to put that number out, 1-800-930-2819. Again, 1-800-930-2819. First caller When we come back from break, we will find out who that is or during that next section. Uh, First caller is going to be the winner of a copy of The Power of Your Angels by Isabel von Folois or Flalois. (laughs) <laughs> I know. It's fine. It's Isabel von Falois. It's fine. I know. I, oh, I'm having fun with it. I'm having fun with it, and especially yes. with this accent of mine to you, probably. Now, <laughs> I, you know, I have a funny accent too because I'm a German girl and, and I'm speaking English. So the people listening will also think I'm I'm speaking a funny English, but that's fine. <laughs> You're doing actually. It's quite. It's actually very good. It's very good. I, I, it's beautiful. I love it. And uh, <laughs> now, Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. So we're going to take a break now. When we come back, call in, guys. We want a winner. We want to send you a copy. 1-800-930-2819. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. I'm Dr. Jen. We're talking about the power of your angels with Isabel from Germany. Stay with us. We will be right back.
you can have it all. Join Dr. Richard Bartlett and Melissa Joy for our mind-blowing Festival of the Healing Arts. Coming to Seattle May 16th through the 25th, we'll be teaching the entire Matrix Energetic Seminar Package in one location. You have to experience yourself. You have to be there, uh, touch it, play with this. It's not a complicated system. It's simple, it's easy, and it's fun. It's quite remarkable. And this woman literally went doot, doot, and I had this wave, this whole like wave of energy comes through me like I had never felt anything like that in my entire life and it just blew me away. It was like, wow. Matrix Energetics, consciousness technology for transformation and healing. Join us for a free introductory course May 16th from 7 to 9 p.m. Seminars will be at the Doubletree Seattle Airport. Visit MatrixEnergetics.com for a seminar coming to a city near you. Come as you are and leave transformed. I'm Christine Upchurch, and this is a Stellar Reflections Minute. As a former research statistician, my scientific background is what many would call sensible. For more than a decade now, I have been working in the field of energy medicine, facilitating sessions and teaching around the world. People from the mainstream often ask me, how did a sensible woman like you end up working in such an alternative field? Implicit in their question is the underlying assumption that the field of subtle energy, such as energy healing and intuition, isn't sensible. But I believe it is very sensible. Even scientists are able to measure aspects of this. Approaching life from an energetic perspective brings us new opportunity for healing and transformation. And from a practical standpoint, even if you can't rationally explain how something works, if you experience a shift from it, then doesn't it make it pretty sensible? Please visit StellarReflections.com or call 425-999-9836. That's 425-999-9836. Did anyone teach you to be a parent? What if there were tools that could make your job a whole lot easier? Glenna Rice invites you to be the questionable parent you truly be in a dynamic teleseries designed to empower parents to know that they know and give you the awareness required to create ease and joy between you and your children. Check out GlennaRice.com to learn more and to book a private session. Or dial 415-235-2807. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. What if the world doesn't function the way we've been told? What if we truly can bend the laws of physical reality? What if we can end limitation? What if weird were the coolest thing you could be? And what if it's time for a totally different reality? Are you ready to create it? Are you ready to dream as big as you dare? Hi, my name is Dane here. 13 years ago, I started to truly ask questions. Actually, I started to be the question, and everything in my life changed for me. This is your invitation to step into something that Einstein, Marie Curie, Newton, Da Vinci, Shakespeare, Gandhi, Galileo, and Aristotle all knew to be true. It's not about the answer. It's about being the question, always. It's about truly being you, whatever that looks like, and changing this world. Is now the time? Start by signing up for a free video series at beingyouclass.com. That's beingyouclass.com. What if you are the gift and the change this world requires? Beingyouclass.com. Want to experience a deeper spiritual connection, reduce stress, and overcome anxiety? You can take control of your life now with the power of meditation. Let Jennifer Farmer, gifted intuitive, medium, and spiritual teacher, show you how easy it is to develop your natural intuitive gifts, manage chronic pain, and live abundantly with a consistent meditation practice. Sign up now for Jennifer's newsletter at jenniferfarmer.com to receive a free healing meditation and watch her free instructional videos at jenniferfarmer.com. Hello, this is Peter Aquilina, CEO and founder of Deer Defense, LLC. For over 15 years, I have been dedicated to tick reduction and the prevention of Lyme disease and other tick-borne diseases. Deer abatement and tick reduction is what we do, and it is all we do. We offer deer fence sales and installation, organic tick sprays, even a simple and inexpensive Lyme risk assessment for your property. Call or email us today at 203-550-8350 or deerdefense at gmail.com. That's D-E-E-R-D-E-F-E-N-C-E at gmail.com.
And we are back. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. We're talking about the power of your angels with my very special guest from Germany today, Isabel von Fulois. And we have a caller and a winner. Let's bring him on, Brian. We have Dora from Michigan. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> Great. And you, Dora? <laughs> Not too bad. I've been listening to you. It's been awesome listening to you tonight. Well, Thanks. congratulations, so Dora. You're the winner, so we have all your information here, and I'm going to be mailing this book out to you. It'll be first thing tomorrow. Right. Gotcha. I know we've okay. touched base. I was lucky enough and very fortunate to talk to Jen before about some stuff of this nature, and uh, I just feel really blessed I was able to get your book. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, so what did you do? You had a question. Did you have a question for Isabel? Well, the only thing is the, the past life thing. When she started to get into that, that's where I was kind of listening real tight, you know, just to because I think I got on your show. I was fortunate enough to get on Jen's show before, and, and that's when she told me um, that at night that's when I do my learning and go but to other dimensions because yeah. I do it in my subconscious. So uh, that's when I kind of connected to what you were saying, and I thought, oh, there's some learning right there, you know. Yeah. Yeah, true, 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 true. because uh, what, what I can see when I tune into your energy is that there is a lot still which you are holding back, Diodora. You you have so much gifts inside and you can feel you want to bring them out, but you don't dare everything to talk about yet. Is it true? Yes, that is correct. Yeah, because I, I, can, I can see, uh, is it okay if I turn into a past life of yours? Is, are you okay with it? No, that's fine. That is very fine. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> because I, I get immediately a picture of you uh, from uh, 50, 1500 around in Ireland, and I see you on a beautiful cliff in the sunshine, and, and I see you with a, with a kind of a harp and, and a beautiful instrument there, and, and you're a beautiful girl, and you have wonderful curly blonde red hair. You're about 17 years old. And, and you're playing the most beautiful song and singing with a wonderful voice. And it was really your passion to, to bring all the, your joy of life through music. And, and you could heal with that ability by that time. And okay. uh, you also could help a lot of people. But then something happened in that lifetime. And this is still holding you back right now. I can see that uh, uh, a lady who was a nun in a, in a, in a kind of a monastery there in, mm -hmm. in, in Ireland, she, she became ill. And she also was trusting on your power of music. And you were there trying to help her, but she died. She still died. Okay. And you felt that you did something wrong, that you should have maybe asked the doctor to help you or whatsoever. I have to tell you, Dora, you did nothing wrong. I, I, I feel the energy of the nun right now. And she tells me everything was fine. She loved to be carried to the other whale, to the other side of the whale, through your music, through your voice. And it was really the moment of her to die. But within you still is something left of that experience. So you don't uh, dare really to express yourself in this lifetime. So my advice to you would be, because I cannot do it in, in, in short minutes here in the show. My advice right. to you would be, uh, you get the book and it's chapter number 10. And there is a soul journey about how to release past life stuff. And okay. also in the back of the book, you find a, a link to the spoken soul journeys by myself. You can do both. You can record it by your own voice, which would be great because your voice would come out again. Or you can listen to, to my version, but you should do it for 10 nights to get rid of that past life memory, which is still holding you back in this lifetime. Okay. Mm. Now, Jen, mm -hmm. that also connects some, similar to what Jen told me a while back, which she told me that I remember, Jen, and I, when I told you that I, my husband said I was talking in a different voice and yes. a different language yes, one night, that. and Jen yeah, and connected that to on Ireland yep. as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you could, you, could, you could feel the energy connected to you, Dora, right? It's trying right, to me? surface is what I feel. It is yeah. trying to surface, so it's starting in the dreams. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and we are connected to everything that we have in our everything that we've ever been before and all that. And, you know, we go to those places uninhibited by our conscious mind when we're in that sleep state or that subconscious state. Exactly. So, yes. So that was a very, very good uh, 
tidbit for you. And why, I'm yeah, saying sure. tidbit because I think it's going to take the tip off the iceberg and then door is really going to start exactly. accelerating. And that's what yes. I'm feeling. Yeah, and you know what, just to explain to you, Dora, Raziel really is so powerful. He can really work in these 10 nights with you, and he can really very, very softly take all the past trauma of this experience you are still holding with you right in this moment. He really can take it away without any pain. It it goes very, very softly, and you just feel different after that 10 nights. All right, that sounds good. Sounds worth a darn <laughs> and, good you know, try it'll to do be that. Interesting. Your husband may want to put a recording on because you may it may release some while you're sleeping. <laughs> yeah, you know? he's still. And then you're, he's going to go. What are you talking me. about now? <laughs> no, he says. He goes. He told me when he heard that. I was telling Dr. Jen. I said he. He says it wasn't even your voice. It wasn't even English. He was it scared the crap at me. I just stared at you like, what's what's going to happen next? <laughs> Yeah. I was like, I don't know. I go, I'm sleeping. I have no clue what's going on. <laughs> yeah, it's it's trying to come through and give you a clue. And and so things like that happen to, to help us with that. And I know Isabel knows what I'm saying with that because um, that's just fascinating. And, you know, when it's not coming from this life, then we look deeper and it's a past life that's holding yeah. things up. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Absolutely. Very. Well, congratulations, Dora. You have oh, thank quite you guys. a bit there. You've just it. been given a stack of homework. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. All the no, it's okay. Generally, yes, warned me. I have a I lot have to had learn. My experiences with Raziel. <laughs> I mean, he is a no joke, amazing angel. <laughs> yeah, so true. Uh, yes, and he will come through. Uh, he will. He he's interesting because he he has you work through it to me. Oh I yes. Mean, I mean, yes. you you, yeah. He's he reminds me, and I always say he's the uh, like that movie, The Karate Kid, where you got to wax on, wax off, and. <laughs> wax on, wax us, and it's like, well, why do I got to do that again? Because you didn't quite. There's more for you to get out of that, and <laughs> just be yeah. prepared yeah. because yeah. he he will give you things to experience and learn. Yeah, and and it's incredible to work with he, him. Absolutely incredible. He's truly, the magician of the angels. I mean, it's, he is. He is, and yes. and and so Dora, don't be wondering if you see a being who looks a little bit like Merlin because he also has like this white hair, white beard. It looks very wise. It okay. might appear to you, right? <laughs> so yeah. just be prepared. <laughs> Yes. Look at I'm prepared for pretty much anything. <laughs> good, good. I can, I can see that. That's great. <laughs> Maybe we should prepare her husband. I don't know. We, yeah. You might he want to give him I'm a crazy. manual. Look at, he already thinks look I'm crazy. What too, the so he knows what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for, for sure. your call, Dora. Thanks, thank you for guys, calling in and congrats it. on winning the book. Oh, thank you. I'm a big fan of you guys. No, oh, we love you too, Dora. All right, the best. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, let you know we that tapped right into what I wanted to go into next was, you know, that healing power of the angels. Yeah. Because yeah, it's not it, yeah, I mean Raziel's one of them that can whoa, he's just Exactly, exactly. So the other big big one was or is Archangel Raphael and he was the one who really appeared to me after four years really struggling with my life and no doctor and no healer, no one was able to help me and I was at a certain point that I said, Okay, there's only God and the angels left because I couldn't walk anymore. I had nearly every single day for four years fever. I was just lying in bed, nothing hmm. to, able to do anymore. And hmm. so I decided at that moment, after fighting for four years, I decided on my birthday, okay, right now, the only thing I'm going to do is reading spiritual books, praying and meditating. And so I, I threw a coincidence, of course, no coincidence, but I received a book by Doreen Virtue and I suddenly knew, okay, if that lady is able to talk to angels, I can do it too. I don't know why I knew, but I just knew it. And so two months later, it was the most, most touching moment of my life. I was again in, 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 in this uh, meditation state. I had my eyes closed and I felt this air pressure change in the room and I just had to open my eyes. And right in front of me, physical, visible, stood the most beautiful tall angel until the ceiling in the room and was surrounded by emerald green light saying to me, I am Archangel Raphael. Oh. Finally, you can see me. Finally, you can hear me. Now you can become healed. And this was Jen, I mean, it, it was 
the biggest miracle you can experience. And he didn't walk by, uh, from my side anymore from that moment. And he told me everything what I had to do to become healed. You know, it was just so amazing. And, you know, it, it will be, I can feel you when you were talking about that. I was starting to tear up in just a beautiful love for what you experienced because that will always feel that big every yeah. single time. And yeah. it, it, it does to me, I feel like a, a, a kid again, a child, that childlike just excitement, yeah. because every single time is an amazing experience. You never get tired of that. No, uh, that's... no. I mean, I've had quite the walk with Michael and yeah. Raziel, uh, <laughs> and it made sense that they went together with what I had to go through in my lifetime. But it, they do, they do come through. They do come through uh, to see them, to feel them, to see the messages they leave to channel it. You just, I mean, I know that when I got on this path and I know I'm relating to what you are sharing here, I can feel you is you just, you, you can't imagine life without this regular everyday connection with them after True. you've had this. I exactly. like, I don't, yeah, you don't want to go through life without that. But no. when we come back, I want to make sure we share how they can get a hold of you, your websites, your social medias, about how, where they can get your books. So when we come back from the next break, let's make sure we get that information out there. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, because this is some really beautiful healing stuff that you're sharing with the world. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, Thank you're you listen so much. Oh, you're welcome. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. I'm Dr. Jen with my very special guest today, Isabel Von Folois. And we are talking about the power of your angels, a 28-day to finding your path, realizing your life stream. Stay with us. We will be right back. Listen to the Yo! Andrew News Talk Show every Tuesday night at 5 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. More info where to listen? www.yoandrewnts.com slash listen. Don't get your message lost in the mail. Email us with this address, yoandrew at yoandrewnts.com. How about tweet Yo! Andrew at andrewtweetgeo. Taking a picture is easy. Instagram us today at yoandrewnts. Are you ready to move past limiting beliefs and unconscious obstacles that are holding you back from financial prosperity? Do you want to be free from debt and that feeling of being disempowered? Mary Jane Allen is a financial healer and joy creation specialist who uses her unique set of tools included in her financial healing process to help her clients move past those beliefs and fears. For more information and to contact Mary Jane, visit her website, manifestyourlifedream.com and begin your financial healing process today. Tune in to Psychic Cup of Coffee with Kelly Sutliff every Tuesday, 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Kelly is a 14-year veteran of psychic ability, and she offers inspiration and comfort to those dealing with grief when they have lost a loved one, and also shares with people that the psychic world is very real. Call 1-800-930-2819 during the show with your questions and visit PsychicMediumKelly.com. That's PsychicMediumKelly.com. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all a healthy space with doctors who care see and listen to the whole you hi this is dr darvish if you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms you will find answers here at holistic medical center our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally we transform lives from within visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404 tune in to the jen royster show intuitive guidance to inspire your life each thursday at 8 a.m pacific and 11 a.m eastern on transformationtalkradio.com this amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges dr jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor spiritual teacher and energy healer Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. 
Did anyone teach you to be a parent? What if there were tools that could make your job a whole lot easier? Glenn Rice invites you to be the questionable parent you truly be in a dynamic teleseries designed to empower parents to know that they know and give you the awareness required to create ease and joy between you and your children. Check out GlennRice.com to learn more and to book a private session. Or dial 415-235-2807. back with my very special guest today, Isabel von Flawa, and she is she's with us from Germany on this call, and we've been talking about the power of your angels here on the Jen Royster Show, and Isabel, let's make sure we give out how they can find your book and where they can find you if they want to reach out and find your website and all that good stuff. Yes, so there are several ways. Of course, you can uh, get the book through Amazon dot com and also through findhornpress.com and probably i i don't know where you have for sure other uh, online stores <laughs> how to get it in the states i don't know but so you can connect with me on my fan page which is also isabel von valois and um with a, a small letters one because the with the capital letter one is my friend's page and i have thousands 5,000 friends and I cannot take anyone else anymore at that moment. And uh, But on my fan page is a lot of space and every single day I put a channeled message on that side in English so you can read it. Then I have, yeah, it, I do it in English because I have so many international fans, so it should be in English. And I have, of course, a newsletter and you ca can subscribe to it on my website, which is also Isabel von Faloa. Dot com, which is I-S-A-B-E-L-L-E-V-O-N-F-A-L-L-O-I-S -L 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 dot com in one word. And there's another website which is called angellifecoachtraining.com, also one word, where you can read about the trainings I give. And I give them not only in German, I give them also in English and in Italian. So we have coaches all around the world in 11 or so countries. Wow. Wow. Beautiful work you're doing, Isabel. Beautiful. Now, if you had something that you wanted to leave with the listeners oh, on yes. this one, what would you want to share with them right now? Yes. What I, I really want to suggest all of you work with the angels on a daily basis. Do it like you brush your teeth, like you take a shower every day because if you really want to have a peaceful life, it does not mean that you don't have challenges in your life anymore. But if you start your day and you end your day with the angels and you take every single day time to connect with the frequency of love through the angels and also forgive every single day you don't have so much to carry on your shoulders anymore and as we said in the beginning Jen for me one of the most important really things we have to do in our lives not only to become physically healthy but also emotional and spiritual and on, on all levels healthy we have to really work on forgiveness because we all wish to have a world of peace, but as long as we still are without peace with one single, single person in our lives, we cannot be in peace. And so for me, the most important thing is really to do every single day forgiveness. Let it become like brushing your teeth and do it with Archangel Tzadkiel. It becomes so much easier. Look at your day, ask yourself, what happened this day? Who did something to hurt me or did I hurt someone? And then call this beautiful Archangel Satkil, ask him to surround you with his violet light and ask Archangel Michael to cut the energetic toxic cords between you and then say, I forgive you. Mm -hmm. I let you go in peace. I bless you. And so I become free. I am free. This is what is my real suggestion because this alone changes the whole life. Yes, and it, it's really, it, it, that's the biggest core of it, really. Uh, yeah. I mean, you have to, 
you have it helps you release those things that are in the way and those lower dense frequencies, those negative things that are holding things up. Um, and believe it or not, it's almost the opposite of what we think. We think it's so hard. It's so hard. It's so hard. No, it's, it's actually not. it's actually the opposite. It's so easy. We think it can't be right. Yeah. This can't be right because it's so easy to yeah, just. Um, you know what I'm saying? I know I, you know what I'm talking I about. I know exactly what you're saying. And, and I think what the most people don't know is they don't have to forgive the act someone did because it's not about the other person. It's about you because as long as you hold on to resentments about someone, you are not in peace. Maybe the other person already has forgotten for a long time what she did or he did towards you, but you are still in pain. So it's about setting yourself free. You do forgiveness to become free, you, yourself, not because you want to help the others. Yes, it just is probably one of the most challenging for people to understand is forgiveness. And um, we really want, and I know I do, and I know that Isabel does, but, you know, the type of work that we do, and I say it that way because we're kind of like-minded, obviously, in this thing, and we have our different ways we approach it. And there is always a unique way to approach it, but it comes down to the same thing. It is about helping you find your way and to free to be free, to set yourself free, and it, and to love, actually feel that beautiful divine love that is at the basis of all of this. Exactly. And you know, like the, the Course in Miracles says so beautifully, forgiveness is the home of miracles. Because mm -hmm. if you forgive, you go back into the frequency of love. And when you're in the frequency of love, you're ready for miracles. Yes. And they come in and they can come in quick. And oh, yes. And, and, and you know, they can. I mean, yeah. that doctor gave you just a few weeks. Yes. And, and now look. Yes. And how many years ago is that? How beautiful it, is that? It's now 14 years or oh, nearly because it was in June. Uh, at the end of June, I got that diagnosis and they gave me three days to three weeks to live. And now it's nearly 14 years ago. <laughs> yeah. And you sound like you're thriving and just glowing and your energy is just absolutely beautiful. And I have been completely enjoying this interview with you and let's stay in touch definitely because I love what you're doing. It's beautiful. And it's what this show is about. Uh, we want to help you out there. So go check out one more time before we go off the air here. One more time, Isabel, uh, Isabel's website. It's isabelvonfawa.com, I-S-A-B-E-L-L-E-V -L -L -E, as in Victor, for all the English Americans out there struggling with that one. It's V-O-N-F-A-L-L-O-I-S.com or angellifecoachtraining.com. All one word, angellifecoachtraining.com. And both Isabel websites are in English too, not only in German. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, that's beautiful. That That's beautiful. And your English has been beautiful to listen to today. Thank Absolutely. You. <laughs> I know. I know. People over there, they're going, who is that? You're, I've got a little bit of a mix of the Southeast over here. So we have all kinds of different accents in this country, <laughs> depending <laughs> on which section you come from. So it's all about the love and it's all about working with your angels every day, the, yes. the book that she has, The Power of Your Angels. That's the name of the book, The Power of Your Angels. You can find it on Amazon, Fiendhorn Press, F-I-N-D-H-O-R-N, -N, uh, Fiendhorn Press. Um, they are the ones that published it, and it's a beautiful book. I mean, it is really a gift to the world. We have, to, we have run out of time, Isabel. Thank you for being with us so much today. Thank you so much, Jen. It All has right. been a great pleasure to be with you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I wish you great blessings and lots of love as you go through your journey helping others. And uh, I wish all the listeners and you all too lots of angel miracles every single day. Thank you so much. You're listening to the Jen Royster Show. I want to say thank you to you, the listeners, and congrats to our winner, Dora in Michigan, for winning her copy of the book. It will go out tomorrow. Uh, stay tuned. We have all kinds of things coming up next week on our show. We have uh, interviews uh, of the afterlife with Jeffrey Marks next week. So I want to say 
Much love to you all. Sending you lots of love, lots of energy. All those light bombs are coming your way, as we call them. Namaste. You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Remember to tune in each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, Visit www.jenroyster.com and transformationtalkradio.com. Is physical or emotional pain controlling your life? Is happiness just beyond your grasp? Tune in to Perspective Reboot with Christy Boris, gifted spiritual and intuitive energy healer, Tuesday, 9 a.m. Pacific and 12 noon Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Christy will be sharing wisdom, healing, and empowerment to help you realize your true potential. During her show, she'll be shining a whole new light on reality and assisting callers at 1-800-930-2819. Listen at TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in each Tuesday at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com for The Dr. Julie Show, All Things Connected with Dr. Julie Kroll, featuring weekly segments with David Eisen and the Chakra Sound System. Each week, you will journey through infinite possibilities, expand into social potential, and find beautiful beginnings where endings leave off. Change makers from around the world will explore what's emergent about the environment, relationships, health, and the evolution of consciousness. Visit TheDrJulieShow.com. Hello, my name is Dr. Friedman Schaub. Anxiety can attack or creep up on us at the most inopportune moments, which makes us feel powerless and out of control. However, anxiety is a basic feeling that is created by our mind. Understanding some do's and don'ts about anxiety is a first step to demystify this emotion and regain control. The more we know about a challenge, the more we can find ways to overcome it. I'm Peggy Snow with another Stellar Reflections Minute. Presence, or what we think of as being fully in the moment, is a key element in the process of healing work. As a practitioner facilitating a session, genuine presence takes us out of our heads where we tend to decide what is and maybe what should be for the client and moves us into direct experience where we're available to witness the person in their wholeness. In this receptive realm... Our senses are heightened and expanded, allowing us to perceive what's seeking to unfold and to interact in the moment. There's something profoundly powerful that happens when healing is approached in this simple, pure way. Balance can be restored and healing can take place on multiple levels. If you'd like more information about the services we offer at Stellar Reflections, visit us at StellarReflections.com or call 425-999-9836. That's 425 425- Nine 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 eight three six. Psychic World, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern, with John G. Sutton, featuring his special guest, Countess Sterella. One of Britain's most respected psychic mediums, John is an internationally published author, poet, and professional clairvoyant. His best-selling books include Psychic Pets, featured with John on the Walt Disney Channel, Animal Planet. Currently, John is the feature editor of the monthly Psychic World, which is the UK's Journal of Spiritualism. He has over 30 years of experience working in the field of paranormal studies. Countess Sterella has an incredible ability to visualize your future in a positive, passionate way. This show offers all listeners the chance to call in and speak directly to John or the amazing Countess Sterella. You can ask your personal questions about love, career, money, relationships, or whatever is troubling you in this often difficult life. What dreams may come? Join John G. Sutton and Countess Sterella to discover your answer. See www.psychicworld.net. What if there's nothing wrong with you? What if you're far greater than you've ever given yourself credit for? What if it's time to know the gift and the contribution you are to the world and to like yourself a lot more? Hi, my name is Dane here. 13 years ago, I started to truly ask questions. Actually, I started to be the question and everything changed for me. Asking questions opens doors to infinite possibilities. And it's not about finding the answer. It's about being the question, always. What I'm inviting you to step into is something that Einstein, Marie Curie, Newton, Da Vinci, Gandhi, Picasso, and Aristotle all knew to be true. What if no question is too big or too small? 
What if anything is possible for you? What if together we could create a kinder, gentler, happier world? Is now the time? Go to beingyouclass.com and sign up for a free video series, My Gift to You. beingyouclass.com What if you, truly being you, are the gift and change this world requires? beingyouclass.com